There are many types of security threats that attackers can use to exploit in secure applications. Threat actors can run some of these attacks using automated software, while others require a more active role from attackers. In this video, I will explain the basic idea behind a man-in-the-middle attack, types of man-in-the-middle attack and mitigation techniques. A man-in-the-middle attack is a network attack in which an attacker intercepts an ongoing conversation or data transfer by eavesdropping or posing as a legitimate participant. To the victim, it appears to be a standard exchange of information, but by interfering in the middle of a conversation or data transfer, an attacker can hijack the information without being noticed. The goal of a man-in-the-middle attack is to retrieve confidential data such as bank account details, credit card numbers, or login credentials, which may be used to carry out further crimes like identity theft or illegal fund transfers. Because man-in-the-middle attacks are carried out in real time, they often go undetected until it's too late. Now let's look, types of man-in-the-middle attacks. The first is, ARP spoofing. RP is the address resolution protocol. It is used to resolve IP addresses to physical MAC addresses in a local area network. When a host needs to talk to a host with a given IP address, it references the address resolution protocol cache to resolve the IP address to a MAC address. If the address is not known, a request is made asking for the MAC address of the device with the IP address. An attacker wishing to pose as another host could respond to requests it should not be responding to with its own MAC address. With some precisely placed packets, an attacker can sniff the private traffic between two hosts. Valuable information can be extracted from the traffic, such as the exchange of session tokens, yielding full access to application accounts that the attacker should not be able to access. The second is DNS spoofing. DNS or Domain Name Service spoofing is the process of poisoning entries on a DNS server to redirect a targeted user to a malicious website under attacker control. The DNS attack typically happens in a public Wi-Fi environment but can occur in any situation where the attacker can poison tables and force targeted user devices into using the attacker-controlled machine as the server for a specific website. It's the first step in a sophisticated phishing attack on public Wi-Fi and it can also trick users into installing malware on their devices or divulge sensitive information. The third is Rogue Access Point. Devices with wireless cards usually try to automatically connect to the access point with the strongest signal. Attackers can set up their own wireless access points and trick nearby devices into joining their domain. All victims' network traffic can now be manipulated by attackers. This is dangerous because it doesn't even require the attacker to be on a trusted network. The attacker just needs enough physical distance. The last types of man-in-the-middle attack is MDNS spoofing. Multicast DNS is similar to DNS, but it's done on a local area network using broadcast-like address resolution protocol. This makes it a perfect target for spoofing attacks. The local name resolution system is supposed to make the configuration of network devices extremely simple. Users don't have to know exactly which addresses their devices should be communicating with. They let the system resolve it for them. Devices such as TVs, printers, and entertainment systems make use of this protocol since they are typically on trusted networks. When an app needs to know the address of a certain device, such as TV, local, an attacker can easily respond to that request with fake data, instructing it to resolve to an address it has control over. Since devices keep a local cache of addresses, the victim will now see the attacker's device as trusted for a duration of time. Now let's look, how to prevent man-in-the-middle attack. Here are a few steps businesses of any size can take to reduce man-in-the-middle attack risk. The first is, don't allow employees to use public networks for any confidential work. The next is, implement virtual private networks to secure connections from your business to online applications and enable employees to securely connect to your internal private network from remote locations. The next is, ensure sensitive online transactions logins are secure with HTTPS using browser plugins like HTTPS Everywhere or Force TLS. The next is, use the latest version of high-security web browsers such as Chrome, Opera, Firefox, 
or Safari. The next is create separate Wi-Fi networks for guests, internal use, and business application data transfers. The next is utilize authentication credentials such as tokens and other forms of two-factor authentication for sensitive accounts. The next is secure your email using SSL and TLS to protect messages in transit and consider using PGP and GPG encryption to protect them at rest as well. The next is, install an intrusion detection system to monitor your network and alert you to unusual events like attempts to hijack traffic flow. The next is, regularly audit and monitor your networks to maintain awareness of normal and unusual activities. The last is, educate your employees about common at security threats and about man-in-the-middle attack. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. If you have any questions let me know by the comments section. I will happy to reply to you. And in case you are first time here check some other videos.